Hi, I'm Becky. In this video, I'm going to show you how to search for books using the library catalogue. You can access the catalogue using this link or by searching Solo Bodleian in Google. This is the home page and you can use this text box here to do a keyword search. Solo is accessible anywhere in the world. You don't need to sign in to search it. So in this example, I'm going to quickly search for a book. Okay, so you can see that there are 68,489 results. Luckily, this top one is the book I'm looking for. If you're not seeing the item you're looking for within the first few results, you can use these options on the left-hand side to narrow down your search. So this is the book that I want to look at. You can see here it says that three versions of the record exist. This could be because there are three different formats that it's available in or it could be that there are different editions available. Click on see all versions and it will take you through to a sub menu. So here we can see these are all the same edition, they were all published in 2012. This top one is um, an online legal deposit version and it's only available in library computers in the Bodleian libraries. That generally shouldn't be a problem because we should have anything that you need to read on your reading lists um, available as an ebook or as a library book. So if you wanted to look at the ebook, you'd just click here on online access. If you're not on campus, you'll then be asked for your single sign on and then you're taken through to the website of the supplier. This will look different depending on who it is we're getting the book from, but there will generally be very similar options. So you've got read online here and that just means you can literally read the book on your computer or your tablet. You can download the book due to publisher restrictions. In this case, you can only have the book for one day. That doesn't mean that you couldn't then just download it again the next day. However, it will disappear from your computer after 24 hours have passed. Or you can download one chapter and that doesn't expire, so that stays on your computer forever. So if we go back to the catalogue, if you're in Oxford and you want to borrow a physical book, you just click on find and request. And now you're given a list of libraries that hold the book. So I'm going to click on Sainsbury Library because that's where I am. So here you can see that the book is in the lower reading room. This is the shelf mark and as there are copies that stay available next to them, it means they're on the shelf and they're ready for you to go and pick up. Books can be borrowed for seven days at a time and renewed as many times as required, providing that nobody else has put a reservation on that book. For distance learning students such as executive MBAs, and MMPM students. Although our loan period is seven days, we are usually happy to make an exception so that you can borrow books until you're back in Oxford. Please just come and talk to somebody at the library desk if you need any help with extending your loans. The last thing I want to show you on here is how to create a citation from this record in Solo. So if you just click here on citation, it gives you options for different citation styles. Here at the side business school we use Harvard and you can just copy and paste this citation into your assignment. Do make sure if you're using this that you standardize your citations because some websites might do their citation style slightly different. That's all I want to show you on here. Please have a look at our other videos for more information on how to use Solo.